Hi, in this short series of tutorials, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an application in iOS 6 that will use an SQLite 3 database. So here's a working sample of what our project will create. It's just going to be a little app to save blood pressure information. So you'll be able to enter uh, the systolic and diastolic values and then comments that might help you document why your blood pressure was what it was. So uh, for example, I'm going to put in 100 over 70 and then for comments I'm just going to put in tired and then I'll click save and I'm going to pop this down and be able to go in and view history and we'll bring up a table and you can see I have a listing of some other things that were in here but then this one was just added. So we'll be able to flip back and forth and add in some values and save it and then view history and see that it gets added onto our list. Now our database, here's a sample of what our database structure is going to be. It's going to contain a primary key. Your database usually will have a primary key which will be a unique identifier. So in our case we're going to capture the date information and make that our primary key so that each one of these will have different date information. And if you wanted to enter more than one on one date we're going to use a date time so that even if you entered five or six or ten of these all in one day, uh, they would be at different times. So they would still have a unique value in here. And we're going to treat that just as plain text. And then we're going to have a value for an integer for the systolic value and another integer for the diastolic value. And then our comments that we put in is just going to be plain text. So we're going to, in our series of videos, look at, first of all, setting up the database structure in our SQLite database, and then how to get our code to save this information, and then we'll retrieve it back out into a table, and then display some information into our table cells. So that's an overview of what our app will do. So we'll go ahead and get started and open up Xcode.